Hello guys, welcome to Surveying Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your surveying problems. So today we are still continuing on our second solution series and we are going to look at the question paper, photogrammetry and remote sensing. So on that particular question, we on that particular question paper rather, we are going to look at this question here. A vertical photograph has the following parameters, the flying height of 1 to 5 zero meters, the camera principal distance of 118.6 millimeter, then they gave us the photo coordinates of the two points, the X and Y coordinate of point A, and then the X and Y coordinate of point B. They now give us the heights of what points A and B, we can see that they are equal. Then the next thing is that, calculate the horizontal distance AB between the corresponding ground points A and B. So the simple explanation to this question is that on a particular photograph, they identified two points and they gave us the coordinates of those two points. So they want us to do what? They want us to calculate the corresponding ground distance between those two points. Corresponding, um, calculate the horizontal distance AB between the corresponding points the corresponding ground points A and B. So as they are on the photograph, we should do what? We should calculate how their distance will be on the ground. So the first thing is we are going to extract the parameter or maybe the data given to us from the question. So the what? The flying height given to us was 1,250 meter. The camera principal distance given to us was 118.6 millimeter. So with these two, the first thing we are going to do is we are going to calculate the photo scale because from the question given to us, we are not given a photo scale. And for you to get your photo scale, it's either you use your um, focal length over your flying height or you use the principal distance given to us over the flying height. So before I continue, I would love to um, say a very big thank you to Mr. Balogun Fatai, yeah, Mr. Fatai Balogun from Federal School of Surveying or your he actually guided me on solving this particular question because I had to consult him and ask him um, some questions. So he's the he's a photogrammetry lecturer in our school. Yeah, I graduated from um, Federal School of Surveying. So I love to say it on this video that um, he actually guided us on solving this particular question. It's all right. So on this particular question, we are going to use the principal distance and the flying height. Are we together, please? It's all right. So using the principal distance of 118.6, which is this, over what over the flying height which is one two five zero meter are we together so now if you look at it the units are not the same so we need to use a unit that will be what will be uniform so the first thing is that we are going to convert this numerator to meter now converting millimeter to meter which is the next stage here either you multiply by 10 raised to power minus 3 or you divide by 1000 so if you multiply this value here by 10 raised to power minus 3 it will automatically give you its corresponding value in meter or you divide it by 1000 so for this particular case we use what we multiplied it by 10 raised to the power minus 3 then we divided it by the um, flying height given to us so you can now see that the two units of meter the two units are now in meter rather so they can cancel out the next thing now is we want to calculate the photo scale so you know photo scales most times in fraction are represented as one over the other value the numerator is always one, mostly one. Then we have the other value as the denominator. So for us to achieve that, because if we press it directly on the calculator, we might not have it as one over. Are we together? So now the first thing is that we are going to convert this, our numerator towards to meter. So as I said, we have 118.6 times 10 to the power minus 3. So we have 0 0.1. 1186 meter that's the equivalent in meter but since we don't need the units again the units have been ruled out are we together so now if we now say divided by 1250 you see now the value we have is 0 0.0000000 up to maybe the 40 then 948 which is not actually represented in form of a scale so what do we do if we say one over this answer now we have our skill it's very simple it's very simple just understand the process carry out your normal division by the time you carry out your normal division the representation you have will not be in the way the scale should be represent, represented i mean the result you have on your calculator will not be the way you are supposed to represent the scale so the first thing we did was what what was the product of that um, 10 um, 118.6 times 10 to the power minus 3 this was it bar 
So the next thing was that we divided it by what one to five zero, which is the flying height. So we have a decimal here. 0 0.0000 so we don't need this as our scale so the next thing we are going to do is that we say one divided by this answer so we now say the numerator is one divided by one zero ten thousand five hundred thirty nine point six two nine zero one alternatively we can do it this way the next way we can do it please i just have to say the next way we can do it is that since we know our we need one as our numerator we can say one one eight point six times what 10 raised to power minus 3 which is 0 0.1186 if we say divided by itself we have one which is what our numerator so the next thing will now be what this one two five zero one two five zero divided by point one one eight one one eight six we now have what we need in our denominator so the first way i explained it and this other way can give us what the scale represented in fraction are we together so if you actually missed it you just have to pause rewind then you get it are we together so the next thing now is that we've actually gotten our scale but we need to round it up to the nearest whole number so rounding it up to the nearest whole number will be what one in eleven thousand so that is actually the photo scale so the next thing now is that we want to calculate what the distance so it's normal in surveying the the first the second northern minus the first northern the second eastern minus the first eastern to get what the change in northern and the change in eastern so that was the same thing we did so we need change in x and when we come here we saw that what the the x of a and the x of b you know a and b are the two points so what we are going to do is what the x of b minus what the x of a which is 6215 minus 47.09 please are you with your calculator please are you with your calculator please um you just have to be pressing it along so the x of a minus what the x of b rather minus what the x of a so we have 6215 62.15 minus what 47.09 are we together so we have something like 15.06 millimeter so that was the same thing we did for what for b the y that was the same thing we did for change in y rather the y of b minus what the y of a which is 52.66 minus 56.32 so we have this so the normal formula to calculate distance which is distance equal to the square root of change in x squared plus what change in y squared so by the time we say the are difference which is 15.06 squared plus then by the time we square this we have a positive value so we have 15.06 squared plus what we have 3.66 squared are we together so we have what 240.1992 please are you also pressing it along on your calculator it's all right thank you so the next thing is we are going to find the square root of this answer so by the time we find the square root of this answer we have what 15.498 millimeter as the distance but this is not actually the grand distance this is not actually the grand distance so to get the grand distance between these two points as they asked us in the question the grand distance is now equal to d multiplied by the photo scale factor and what is our d our d is this distance we've actually computed here multiplied by the photo scale factor so we have not actually computed for our photo scale factor so what is our photo scale factor photo scale factor is equal to one over photo scale are we together photo scale factor is what one over photo scale so our photo scale is one approximately one in eleven thousand so our photo scale factor will now be one divided by one over eleven thousand which is just like the reciprocal of one over eleven thousand so we have what eleven thousand as our photo scale so finally the grand distance between the two points as we were asked to calculate calculate the horizontal distance a b between the corresponding ground points a and b so the corresponding grand distance between these two points will now be what this distance we calculated here on the photo multiplied by what the photo scale factor so we have 15.4 we have 15.498 multiplied by 11,000 so we have what 17 170,000 47 
170,478.932. Are we together? Now, the next thing we are going to do is that we are going to convert this millimeter to meter. Converting it to meter simply means what? Dividing by 1000, just like we did here. Either you divide by 1000 or you multiply by 10 to the power minus 3. So if you divide it by 1000, you have something like what? 170.4478 or 482. Then if you want to convert it to kilometer, you divide this, your meter, by 1000, you get the equivalent in what? In kilometer. Are we together? It's alright. So I think we have come to the end of today's class. I hope we actually provided solutions to this particular problem. It's um, a problem on a um, second question. So thanks for coming to class. I hope you actually got solutions to this problem. Um, we know that um, we are actually preparing, going to work and uh, all this stuff. So just make sure you create time and dedicate some time preparing well for the exams which is fast approaching and then we know you are going to make it so thanks for coming to class if you are actually coming to the channel for the first time or maybe if you've been coming and you've not subscribed please subscribe to the channel and then hit the like um, like button there and also share it with your friends maybe those also preparing for the exams or those that will write the exams next year or any other time because they will need it so until i see you again next time make sure you take care of yourself and then take your study seriously and also take your work seriously so see you and what stay safe